we begin with rail construction along Dillingham Boulevard. It continues to impact a whole lot of businesses. And with years of work to go, the Honolulu City Council is trying to help keep the small mom and pop shops alive. I joined City Council members as they went door to door to let businesses know about the program. Knock, knock. Hi, are you the owner here? City Council members Radiant Cordero and Tyler Dos Santos Tam. Hey, I wanted to uh, say hi, I'm Tyler. Pounding the pavement Monday, going door to door, speaking with businesses in Kalihi, impacted by rail construction. And we're working on a proposal to help the small businesses. I know rail construction has yeah, been very yeah. difficult. Yudai Fukuda owns U Kitchen in Kokea Shopping Center. He says they need help. Yeah, since like we started, about our, um, our uh, the sales got. 60% went down. You know, we don't have any place to go yeah, right now, so we're kind of like, you know, trying to stay as much as possible and try to figure out. Many businesses are trying to stick it out, but dozens along Dillingham Boulevard have already closed. In this shopping center alone, Kauai Ice Wave, Locks of Bagels, and Subway on the corner have all recently shut down. Ronald Espanto has worked at Yohei Sushi for two decades. Before the rail, this whole place was really it's really thriving, you know, even the, across the street by the city square. Uh, I know they're slowing down too. People just trying to avoid this place and, 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 and it's sad. The hope is the Transit Construction Mitigation Fund will give struggling business owners the help they need to stay afloat. If they have that little glimmer of hope, if we can allow for their voices to be heard through this bill, through this program and process, and keep them in Kalihi. The Transit Construction Mitigation Fund was actually created years ago, but Dos Santos Tam says the funds lapsed before they were given to businesses. He and Cordero don't want that to happen again. So they crafted Bill 40 to create a pathway to get the money to those who need it most. Basically, mom and pop businesses under 15 employees, under about $750,000 in revenue a year would be eligible to get $10,000 in grants from the city to just help with their ongoing expenses to offset the uh, decrease in sales. We can't just leave them hanging. We can't just say, you're on your own. You know, we're all in this together and we want to make sure that these businesses survive. Cordero and Dos Santos Tam are asking businesses impacted to submit testimony by Wednesday. City Council will be casting the final vote for the bill during their Wednesday meeting. And you can log on to kh12.com for more information.